fearsome heavyweight contender Joe Lewis's stock had dropped in 1936 after a shocking loss to Max Schmeling. The Brown Bomber was matched with another former champion, the Boston Gob, Jack Sharkey, who was determined to prove that he could rule the world again. Joe Lewis, limbering up in his corner, coming out for round one. The referee is Arthur Donovan. Lewis weighs 199 and three quarters. Sharkey, 197 and one quarter. Lewis isn't wasting any time. Joe Lewis, the brown bomber, with right crosses to the head. And left hooking to the stomach is Joe Lewis. Jack Sharkey fighting back. Sharkey having trouble in that corner. Joe Lewis belting away. Round one of a scheduled 10 rounder. Sharkey has had a total of 54 professional bouts, scoring 15 knockouts, winning 20 decisions, winning three on fouls, drawing in three, and losing eight decisions, losing one on a foul, being stopped three times, and fighting one no decision bout. Joe Lewis going after Jack Sharkey. Lewis has had 28 professional bouts, scoring 23 KOs, winning four decisions, and being stopped once by Max Schmeling two months ago. Going in on the fight, Joe Lewis was a four to one favorite. There's a crowd of 30,000 on hand. They've paid more than $160,000 to watch this bout. Jack Sharkey, a classic boxer with a good straight left jab and a fine right cross. Lewis again with that hook to the stomach. That's the end of the first round. Joe Lewis in the corner to the right. Jack Sharkey in the left. Coming out now for round two. Sharkey bobbing and weaving. He once modeled himself after the great Jack Dempsey. Now he's more of a stand-up fighter, though. Joe Lewis with a style all his own. Lewis beating Sharkey to the punch. Sharkey staggered momentarily but held on. Joe Lewis caught him with a short right. Lewis with tremendous power in each and every punch.
Shockey is in trouble. Joe Lewis has him against the ropes. A solid right. Down goes Shockey. He's being counted out. Holding on a one strand. Six, seven. He's on his feet. He's staggering. Lewis coming right after him. Shockey doing his best to hold on, and down he goes again. This is the second round. Shockey watching the count. Here comes Joe Lewis again. Shockey holding off for all he's worth, and now he's fighting back. Joe Lewis looking to put away Jack Shockey right here and now. One good punch might do it. And still, Shockey fights back. Just as game as they come. Jack Shockey, 11 years older than Joe Lewis at the end of round two. Well, they're getting ready to come out now for round three. And they do. The crowd senses an early KO. Lewis is not impatient. Shockey is hurt. Down he goes and through the ropes. On both knees. A solid right cross. Now he's on his feet. Lewis coming right after him. Shockey trying to fight back gallantly. He's no match, though, for Joe Lewis, and down he goes. His mouthpiece is out. And that's it. Let's look at it again in slow motion. And here's where Joe Lewis finishes them off. That's one he missed. And that's one he didn't. That left hook, and Shockey is staggered again. Left hook to the stomach, doubles up Shockey, and a left hook to the head. And Shockey is on his way out. That right uppercut and a left hook, and down goes Jack Shockey for the last time against Joe Lewis. And now the fight is to be stopped. Referee Arthur Donovan sees that Jack Shockey has had quite enough. And so the winner is Joe Lewis, defeating former World's Heavyweight Champion Jack Shockey. Joe Lewis, who himself went on to become the World's Heavyweight Champion. Jack Shockey being ministered to in his corner. This was the end of the trail for Jack Shockey. That's Harry Ballow, the ring announcer. Coming over to get Joe Lewis and raise his hand in victory. Radio announcer is Ted Using. Joe Lewis, TKO winner against Jack Sharkey in three rounds at Yankee Stadium. That was 1936. Joe Lewis regained that winning feeling with a brown bombing of a past his cell by date, Jack Sharkey. A year later, Lewis would win boxing's biggest prize, and the most destructive reign in heavyweight history began.